What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to install an Android operating system on this Optiplex. I've been wanting to experiment and learn different operating systems for quite some time now. And of course, there are many different versions of Linux that I can tackle. But I came across this Android OS called Bliss OS, and I thought I'd give it a try. First, let's talk real quick about the PC I'm going to be using. This is an Optiplex 3020 small form factor. It's got a third gen i5. It's got 8 gigs of RAM and an old Radeon GPU. Definitely not the most powerful PC. It has an SSD currently in there with Windows installed. But since I just want to test out Bliss OS to see if I'm going to like it, I'm going to run it off a USB thumb drive here. If I want, I can just install it on the main hard drive and wipe out Windows if it runs well. This is a little out of my wheelhouse, so let's see how it goes. Okay, first thing to do is head over to the Bliss website. If you just search up Bliss OS, you will pretty much find it right away. Okay, so head over to the download section on the top right here. So you're going to click that on. And there are a couple of different versions. I'm going to download what looks like the latest version here, uh, Bliss OS 15. Looks like there's one with Google Apps and one without. We'll see if the Play Store actually works on this. And I'm just going to click on the green button here that says download latest version. And we're just going to give it some time to download. And after it's downloaded, I'm going to insert my USB thumb drive into my PC like so. Then I'm going to need a program to flash the image onto the thumb drive. Uh, I'll be using Belena Etcher. It's a very simple program to use. Once you open up Etcher, you're going to click on Flash from File. I'm going to find the Bliss image that I downloaded. And then I'm going to select my USB thumb drive here. There it is. And then I'm simply going to give it a few minutes to flash. Now I'm going to take that thumb drive out of my main PC and plug it into that Optiplex that I want to try this out on. I'm going to power on the Optiplex and if I don't do anything, it's going to just boot up into Windows on that SSD. So after I hit the power button, I'm going to hit F12, and that's going to take me into the one-time boot menu here. And then I'm going to boot from the uh, USB flash drive. Now, you see i got a few options here. The fourth option is to install Bliss OS on the main hard drive. I don't want to do that quite yet. I'm going to choose the first option, Live CD. This will let me run Bliss from the flash drive so I can try it out and see if I like it. Keep in mind, nothing will be saved after I power off the PC. So if I install a program, it'll be gone if I boot it up again from the USB drive. So let's see how the installation goes. All right, as you can see, it's been installed. It's running on that USB flash drive. Uh, pretty painless, pretty easy. So now I'm gonna, you know, experiment with this, mess around and see how I like it. Okay, so after playing around with this, I gotta say, I'm not a fan of this OS. So there is a version of the Google Play Store here called uh, Aurora Store, and I was able to log into Google, but 
uh, it won't install anything that I try to install from the Google Play Store. I don't know if it's cause anything to do with Google Play services. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I tried YouTube on the built-in web browser and the video looks fine. I do apologize that it looks choppy because something went wrong with my capture card here. I don't know what. Uh, anyway, the other bummer is I can't get sound to work on it at all. I did some research and it seems like a lot of people have had this issue before with Bliss OS. Uh, I tried to troubleshoot it, but no luck at all. If you know what the issue is here, uh, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to know why. I also tried to sideload apps, but that didn't work for me e either, even after allowing unknown apps or unknown sources in the settings. Uh, so it's a pass for me for Bliss OS. If you have had success using the OS, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if I am missing something with installing apps, let me know as well. I'd love to learn. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.